Maastricht University is not just home to Dutch and German students. Just recently, a new flood of Erasmus students came to the guest house to stay in Maastricht for a semester or a whole academic year. They come to broaden their horizon and to make new intercultural experiences. We, we share food, we share music, we share films, we share everything. They have not only come to study, but also to enjoy the time with many other international students. I think I'm going to travel a lot and I think I'm going to study here uh, a lot too. Rizis Schrank is one of the people who make this experience possible. She deals with incoming and outgoing Erasmus students at the Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences and ensures that they can validate their study results when they go back home. Most partner universities uh, already apply the ECTS uh, system, so that's quite easy. We always acknowledge uh, the credits that are obtained abroad. If a student wants to come to Maastricht from another European partner university, Rezi Srenk takes care of the paperwork and negotiates with the outstanding university. Most Erasmus agreements are faculty-based, so we have an agreement with faculties of other universities. Um, and we don't deal with the Commission directly. Yet, the European Commission provides the funds for the student exchange. Pinocchio Cantino from the DG Education and Culture is the head of the unit that deals with the Erasmus programme. The programme was set up already 20 years ago, 22 years ago actually, and the idea was to uh, encourage mobility uh, all over Europe and especially young people's mobility because of course the idea was that if young Europeans become more Europeans, Europe will become more Europe altogether. Pinocchio Cantino knows what she is talking about. The Erasmus experience is a great experience and I can say, um, I can say so because I was one of the first Erasmus students. Uh, actually when I went on my Erasmus term I, I was really opening up to a new culture, new country, new language. The Commission does not only impose measures from above but also tries to involve young people in shaping the Erasmus program. The youth NGO Erasmus Student Network influences the Erasmus policies and puts them into action on the ground. ESN has 296 different sections in 33 European countries which work together with the universities. Um, this goes into uh, providing mentors or buddies for the international students who, for example, pick them up at the airport or at the train station, who show them them around town, uh, try to be there to integrate as best as possible into the local community, help out in university life and so on and so on. For Quentin and his friends, ESN Maastricht organized a week of parties and activities that introduced them into the Dutch culture. While they get used to living in Maastricht, many regular students prepare their own stay in a different European country. A journey which will bring them new friends, new experiences and a lot of fun. <laughs>